So guys, you've chosen the magnificent Mai Tai, it's a cool drink to make, cool story behind it, so let's go. Um, the Mai Tai is a very much debated drink, it's a tiki drink, so we use a lot of rums, uh, kind of tropical kind of drink uh, style. Um, the thing about the Mai Tai is, is that there are two bartenders claiming to be the inventor of the Mai Tai. So one of them is Don the Beachcomber. Um, he claimed to have served this drink first at, in 1933. And then there is Trader Vic, also a famous name in uh, bartending. And he is said to have invented the Mai Tai in 1944. Either way, it's a great drink. Both their versions, they vary a little. Um, one of them calls for grapefruit juice and the other one doesn't. One of them calls for falernum and the other one does it. Um, but basically it's a drink with a lot of rum, lime juice, um, some sweet ingredients and we've combined those two recipes and made our own version of it and called it the Magnificent Mai Tai which is, which is always nice to call something magnificent and I hope you will find this drink magnificent as well. So first off we will grab our materials, so we have a cocktail shaker, then we need a jigger to measure everything and then we need a cocktail glass. So as you can see this is not made out of glass so you can't see through it which is something that we used to um, that they used to do a lot in the days of the tiki culture um, use glasses that um, or vessels that were not made out of glass why did they do this they did this because they use a lot of rum and they use dark rums as well and dark rums they will get your drink a little bit brownish and that specific brownish color was something that, that people just didn't appreciate at the time. So bartenders started hiding the color of the drink um, by using something else than glass. So um, it's something that we still do, uh, do in 2020. So um, let's go. This is the uh, glass. We will fill the glass with ice now you can use ice cubes or you can use crushed ice i prefer crushed ice because it dilutes your drinks a little bit faster um, and it will also chill faster um, so for those two reasons i would prefer crushed ice for a mai tai there are drinks that i don't want the dilution to happen as quickly so i would use ice cubes but for today we will be using crushed ice now if you don't have any crushed ice at home you can use ice cubes. Uh, there's a slight difference, not too big, but there is a difference. So, um, and then we need fresh lime juice. Now, lime juice is something else as lemon juice. So, if you need to make a drink with lime juice, or the recipe calls for lime juice, then you have to buy limes. If you, if the recipe calls for lemon juice, then you have to buy lemons. Um, now, limes are more expensive, but they taste different. Not per se uh, better, but they taste different. So, we need. One ounce, many recipes, um, they come from American books uh, where they don't use the metric system, so it calls for ounces. Now, one ounce is about 29 milliliters, so in the Netherlands we use 30 milliliters for one ounce, which is easier if you have to use like half an ounce or a quarter of an ounce. So 30 milliliters of lime juice. Pour that in the shake, and then we need three sweet ingredients. Now, sweet ingredients: we have simple syrup, which is sugar and water, nothing else. A quarter of an ounce, or 7.5 milliliters, and then we need almond syrup. Almond syrup also 7.5 milliliters. So the, those are the two uh, syrups, and the third sweet ingredient is an orange liquor. Uh, so you can use Gramenier, you can use Quattro, you can use Triple Sec of any brand. Uh, we prefer this one, which is Triple Sec. Twenty-five milliliters. And then the main ingredient, um, or oh, not the main ingredient, but our special ingredient is uh, pineapple juice. Thirty-five milliliters. And then the main ingredient, 
rum. Now for a Mai Tai cocktail you would typically need at least two different types of rums. Some bartenders use three, four, five different rums. Um, and we use six different types of rum to make a Mai Tai. Now when it's a busy night it's real difficult to get those six bottles because you need to hurry up. Um, and uh, so we we pre-batched um, those rums in our tiki mix number two. So we have three different types of tiki mixes. They all contain rum, but different rums and different ratios, so they taste different. And uh, the cool thing about this is that I'm the only one who knows what's inside of this bottle. Um, therefore, if one of my uh, colleagues would decide to work somewhere else, he can steal the recipe. Um, so, um, a very healthy measure of 60 milliliters of rum. So this is uh, quite a strong drink. Um, and that's why we need the dilution of the crust ice. Then we will need some orange uh, cocktail bitters. Three dashes. So those orange uh, bitters, they help to bring out the orange liquor. And they will um, add extra freshness to your drink. And then we will use aromatic bitters as well. To give it a little bit more fuller flavor. And uh, they taste slightly bitter. So that's something that you taste at the end of each sip because the bitter flavors is something that you taste mostly on the back of your tongue. So it's the last thing that you will taste after each sip, which is cool. Because um, when you add something bitter to a cocktail, it means that you will get a better mouth feel because you can taste it everywhere in your mouth. Then we add ice cubes and then we have to shake for about 10 to 15 seconds depending on the type of shaker that you use. Um, so this is a Parisian shaker um, and I don't have to shake for longer than 10 seconds. So let's go. So that's about 10 seconds. Let's get everything out. And then we would normally taste the drink before serving. That is a very nice drink indeed. Then we get one of our strainers. So the ice cubes stay inside of the tin. And we strain the drink in the glass. Now the cool thing about this is you can see I can pour all the ingredients into the glass and um, um, I don't over pour so um, and that's because I use my jigger so my jigger will help me to get all the different uh, measurements right so the cocktail will taste the same each and single time um, and it's just exactly the right amount of fluid now this is a drink that requires a straw um, if you use crush size if you don't use crush size you can drink it without a straw but normally you would drink it with a straw then we need garnish mint if you have any please use it just get a, a sprig of mint bruise the leaves a little bit place the mint next to the straw and leave it there so when you take a sip then your nose is over the mint and you can smell the mint really well now for garnish we also use uh, um, we also use orange in this case blood orange which is a really cool flavor as you can see it's uh, it's a little bit red that's why it's called a blood orange um, and this is a dried a dehydrated uh, slice of orange so that means that when it gets in contact with fluid it slowly um, releases flavor again so there you have it that's uh, the magnificent Mai Tai as we serve you Mr. Finch um, I hope you enjoyed. Cheers. That is good. Okay. See you later.